Welcome to Final Expense Telesales. I'm Dana Neeson. Thank you so much for being here today. And over the weekend, I shared a really short sales clip of a woman who answered the phone and said, stop calling me. And I shared what a great job our agent Lisa did on overcoming that objection and getting that call into a sale. And so today I thought it would be great to welcome Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Dana. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Um, it's always fun to see the person behind the voice. I got a lot of good feedback on that call that I shared. Um, and we're going to get into your experience and all the fun stuff that people want to know about being on this team. But what was going through your mind um, when the first thing she said was stop calling me? Um. I think exactly what I said. I was like, well, I'm not calling you. <laughs> I, I told her, I think this is the first time I've called you. So um, I just wanted to, you know, get a quick response. And some people don't like that. And some people will engage in a conversation. And the very next thing I think I asked her, well, are you looking for coverage? <laughs> and then we just started sort of chatting from there. One of the things that you did that you probably don't even realize that you did is when you introduced yourself, she was, I think she was uh, giving you a hard time. And so instead of just talking over her and just continuing your outbound spiel, you stopped, you just said your name and then you stopped to give her room to keep talking. And she just said, okay. And then you continued as opposed to what I think some agents do, which might seem small, but I think it's a big deal. Um, you know, just talk over them and, and, and ignore them. And that just makes people more angry. Did you even realize you did that? I actually, um, I, I had like a recent training with you and you said to do that. And so I, I realized, you know, that maybe I was over talking people. Um, so yeah, I was doing that. I was doing that on all of my calls and I noticed that it helped a lot. Wow. That's really good. I'm so glad to hear that we're implementing training. Yes. <laughs> so, um, let's go back. I want to rewind because Lisa, you have only been on this team now for five weeks um, how long have you had your life insurance license for, and what were you doing prior to coming over here? Um, so I think I've, I've been in insurance for almost six years now. I have, I got my license at the end of 2018. And before that I was a loan officer. So even though the job is completely different, the idea of like calling people and doing the phone sales is actually quite similar. So um, rates had gotten really high. And I had a cousin that was also in the business. And he suggested coming over to a company he was working for. And they were like, as soon as they hear you're a loan officer, you'll be in the door. And <laughs> so that's what happened. And I ended up really falling in love with the when you do loans, it's such a long process, you have to stay engaged with someone and work with them over like a month. And I just loved how this was like a, you know, one time thing. Sometimes maybe you do a callback, but most of the time it's just like a done deal. And I just really like that. So I just made the switch. <laughs> so you did that for six years so far? So you made doing life insurance for six years. I was working at Assurance IQ. Um, I know everybody knows, you know, they had the big shutdown. Um, and yeah, it was a huge surprise. I was 37 weeks pregnant, not expecting that to pop up at all. Um, I know a lot of people were struggling there, but I always did really well. I, um, I was working part-time making full-time money, you know? And so I, I needed to find something similar. Um, I have four kids <laughs> and I homeschool. So, um, I have to, and my daughter plays competitive soccer, which is five days a week. <laughs> so I had to find another place that was going to be similar. Um, but we were also having a baby. So my husband was doing the same thing and he made the call really fast. I couldn't, I wasn't going to go get a job somewhere and then have to go on maternity leave. So he was just like, this place sounds good. We knew um, Tim and yeah. we tried his advice and he you know he just started right up 
And then um, after I had my baby, I made a call to Dana and I, you know, just let her know, hey, um, I'm looking to kind of share a full time position with my husband and um, we'll, you know, do the best we can to make it worth your while. So she no, took a chance. Absolutely. So both you and your husband came in part time, which is something you will never see me promote, right? Like I do not promote part time just because most agents don't have the skills that that you do, right? And they really need to put in the hours in order to get the same results. Um, I agreed to have you guys come on part time um, with the guys that that when you worked that you were going to maximize your time and and you've already, um, you know, exceeded my expectations as far as what your abilities are coming over here. Um, to give some stats, and then I'm gonna, I have a lot more questions. So just to give you some stats, I already went over these with you, but for the land of YouTube here, um, you've been here for about five weeks working part-time, I mean, part-time, <laughs> and um, you have sold 22 policies uh, for a total of 16,300 AP. And um, we looked at your total opportunity and uh, you have received in this five weeks, 110 transfers. Uh, we, they last, that lasted more than 30 seconds because sometimes they fail or they don't connect. Not even all of those at 30 seconds are good transfers. <clears throat> we typically say that you can present to about 30 to 40% of your transfers. Um, you took 110 of those and had 55 of them. You were able to get into a conversation that lasted more than five minutes, 24 of them, more than 20 minutes, similar with your outbounds. You had 24 over 20 minutes for, for transfers, 21 over 20 minutes for your outbounds. So very similar amount in the same time. And you converted 22 of those, which is a 49% close rate on your calls over 20 minutes. Um, that's phenomenal. And uh, what what are your thoughts on the results that you've had so far? Um, I didn't know <laughs> those were the stats. Um, those are good, but the best girl I think you said is closing at seventy five percent. So that's what you always want to be, right? So there's still room for improvement, constant and never ending room for improvement. Um, but yeah. I think that in order to do what I want to do, I have to be efficient. So you just got to make sure. <laughs> now, you had mentioned something earlier that I think is really relevant here as well. <clears throat> you started off by saying that you knew a decent amount of people were not having success over at Assurance, but you were. Um, the same can be said for people on this team, right? There's plenty of people on this team that have the same opportunity that aren't seeing the success that you are working double the hours. Um, I, I really don't think it has, has as much to do with the company that you're with at it, as it is yourself. W what do you think being a, you know, being a top producer with an opportunity, what are your observations on that? Um, I think that number one, it's experience you learn over time. So I have been doing this for six years. Um, I'm always trying to listen to who the top agent is and what they have to say and, you know, pick up, you know, pointers from them. Um, you got to have conviction mm -hmm. in what you're doing. So I think, you know, I've watched a million YouTube videos over the years. And I think one of them was this guy talking about having conviction in what you're doing. So, you know, figuring out what the need is, figuring out, you know, sometimes you find out early on in the call that they don't have a beneficiary, they don't have a need. And you just got to know when to move on. Right. You got to when there's no sell. You said that recently, too. And I took that to heart. It reminded me, you know, knowing when you do and don't have a sale. So I think that's a, a big part of it. Or even knowing when you do or don't have an opportunity to have a sale, right? Because having the sale is the part that takes even like even more skill. Right. Yeah. So exactly. yeah, having, but knowing when you have the opportunity is really important. Yeah. Um, so there are Plenty of other companies that offer free leads at a reduced commission. Um, what do you like about Tailored Legacy and the opportunity we provide? Um, 
Uh, I like the camaraderie you guys have. I like the friendliness. Uh, I did watch a bunch of videos um, that Adam had or that you had before joining in. You know, you got to be proud of who you work for. Mm -hmm. um, so I did. I did that. I checked it out. I went with my gut. Uh, my husband went with his gut. And, you know, we just made the decision and, and we're happy with it. Oh, there goes your phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Love you can uh, be happy working for someone that you're not a fan of. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, a big, a big uh, deal that I think um, what keeps agents like job hopping, right? From IMO to IMO to IMO is that they're always looking for like the magic lead, right? Like if I just have the best leads, then I will sell 20, 30,000 a month. Um, you get good leads, bad leads, good transfers, bad transfers, everything in between. Um, what are your thoughts on like lead quality and lead volume? Well, before this, I only had one other job. And I think that's that's just who I am. Before that, I worked for one other company. I'm a loyal person. Um, I think as far as leads go, I have a lot of friends in the business and they're always complaining about their leads. You know, I don't think I want to buy them. So I got to find somebody else that will. <laughs> and that's it. You know, you just do what you can with what you got. So anybody can say this place has good leads or this place has great leads or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, they're all the same, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, I, I agree. And it's just the fact that you're never going to run out, right. You're never living in a world of scarcity. Um, you know that you can log in and there is always going to be opportunity there for you to work. One of our agents um, compares it to like a slot machine. You just yeah. keep pulling the lever. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. you're playing is playing with house money right and um the the better the better the agents are um you know the more opportunity we want to continue to give to you and in just the five weeks that you've been here um you know i hope you've seen that so of course we're always trying to grow and attract high quality agents and um people that are trying to figure out if they want to go with us or someone else um what advice would you give an agent that's kind of trying to determine where they should go that's looking for this type of opportunity um i think you just got to pull the trigger like the, i don't think that you need to do i mean the longer you take to find some place to go, the longer it's going to be before you get paid. So I think you should just make the move. And, you know, she offers tons of training. She has, I mean, live transfers, outbound. Um, your day will be full. <laughs> You'll have plenty of leads to work with. And mm -hmm. if, if you do what you can with what you got, then you'll make some money. What are your thoughts on the script? I will say that there's not. <laughs> other places where you can get paid as quick oh. so a lot of other places will pay once a month twice a month if I can get a client to pay that day that money is in my account that night so right. before three before the three o'clock cutoff yeah well I I'm in Idaho so it's four. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. four o'clock cut off exactly no that's true and you're already done by then yeah so, um, so awesome that's amazing you know if and you, I know you don't work like um, enough hours to really get a ton of talk time bonuses. Um, but did you happen to see um, how many bonuses you have earned since you've been here? Two, three, hold on. I'm going to add it up. Let's see. We have here. You get a calculator. 125, 100, 150. 375. I don't have a cup. You got a wheel spin today. What did you get on the wheel spin? 50. 50. <laughs> so, you know, almost over $400 in bonuses, which isn't bad for part time. I'd love to see you get more. My husband also is doing it and he's gotten quite a bit. So I think he's made over a thousand bucks because we kind of let it like bank up. And then, you know, yeah. Love it. Okay, so say that again. Sorry, I cut you off. 
I said, he's made some pretty good bonus money with talk time. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to have him on next. <laughs> um, I had asked you a question, so I want to go back to it because I, you wanted to, to talk about, um, that immediate, um, pay. Uh, I wanted to ask you your thoughts on the script because it's definitely, um, it's definitely something to get used to. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, I think you have to learn it and then make it work for you. Um, so when you're brand new anywhere, you got to follow, you got to follow it. You got to, you know, learn it. And I think for me, I'm not good at like reading and talking and reading. So I had to, you know, go through, memorize it. Mm -hmm. She has the rebuttals. And if you memorize those the first week I hadn't, and I couldn't answer fast enough. Cause I was like looking and I was like, okay, what do I say? What do I say? Um, and then I spent that weekend kind of reading through them and then I got quicker with it. So they would say it and then you just know it. Okay. This is what you say for that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, some of these, some of these rebuttals I have, I've never heard and I've been doing it for a while and they work, they work really well. Yeah. I take, I have like tabs and I have like a checklist. So, you know, you got to do your discovery, you got to do your consequence, you got to do your education. So sometimes I might like jump around, but I try my best to make sure I'm like, okay, I did that. Okay, I did that. Yeah. Okay. And it worked. Yeah. Um, well, I don't have any other questions. I just wanted to show you off. <laughs> to you know to everyone and just kind of give some positive feedback to um to people that are on the fence about whether or not they want to join the team you've only been here for such a short time and already seeing great results as well as your husband so yeah um, well so thank you i will say one thing i think that really helps is just like you said listening to what they say they're going to tell you yeah. they're going to Thing. So if you just take the time to listen, once I actually get to the pitch where I'm giving them a quote, after I tell them the amount, I just don't say a word. And it's challenging because you want to keep going. But if you just stop and like listen for 30 seconds, you'll know if you have a sale or not. Absolutely. I mean, we do a lot of strategic sales training here to make sure that people aren't just running their mouth and overselling. And uh, I had someone last week who the, the lady said, yeah, I like that one. And he was like, but let me show you this one. And don't forget you get all this. And behind door two, you have this too. And she was like, can you just send me the information? Right. And just walked himself out of the sale. And I really think the biggest challenge in the industry is staring at you right in the mirror, right? I think as long as you have an opportunity to be successful, the rest is up to you. And um, that's really what I want people to know and understand. Yeah, I had that when I was a brand new agent, they had a similar thing where people would listen in and whisper and tell you what to say. And um, I was talking to a guy and I gave him a quote and he said, okay. And then I kept going and the manager said, he just said, okay. He gave you a green light. And I was like, I just stopped and I was like, all right. And then we just wrapped it up. We sold the policy. He was right. I had it. And I was about to talk myself out of it. So I always think back to that day. And that's when I learned, like, just listen, let them, you know, and follow what they're saying. Don't just try to think of what you're going to say next. Absolutely. And already so many of the agents are listening to your calls and learning from you being so new. And we cannot wait to see what you and your husband, you know, both can do over the next 11 months, right? Because we have to, we have to celebrate one full year and then go beyond. So thank you so much for being here, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Dana. Have a good day. Bye.